I'm going to show you how you can set up an electronic markbook for your classes. I'm going to use the flipped learning technique where you look at the materials before the lesson as a homework and you are then ready to try out your ideas when you arrive in class. I'm using Microsoft Excel for this demonstration but you could use any spreadsheet software. It's always good practice to save your files with a sensible name before you do anything else. So let's save this as electronic markbook. You need to understand that a spreadsheet is made up of lots of individual cells. The cells can hold different types of information. Here's an interesting fact. Did you know that there are enough cells on a spreadsheet for it to be able to hold the individual names of everyone on the planet? That's a mind-blowing amount of data. You can click on an individual cell and find the unique cell reference by looking here. You will also notice that the row and column names turn to an orange colour. If you want to highlight a whole column, you just select the column heading. You can also do the same with the rows on the left hand side. Excel is very clever at doing a lot of the hard work for you. Let's look at how it can create sequences of information. If I type in the number 1 to a cell, and hover my mouse over the corner, you will see that the cursor changes from a white cross to a small black cross. If you click and drag this down, you can replicate the cell. Try it again with the number 2 underneath. This time I'm going to select both the numbers 1 and 2 and replicate the cells. You will see that the spreadsheet knows you are trying to create a sequence and it will fill the cells with numbers that automatically count up for you. Type in the word Saturday and replicate the cells. You will automatically generate the days of the week in the right order. You can start these sequences anywhere and choose what size gap to have between them. It also works with dates. If you replicate the dates, it will automatically create the correct sequence and the spreadsheet knows how many days are in each of the months. So for February 2016, it knows that it is a leap year and automatically includes the 29th of February. Each of the cells can hold different types of information. Let's type in some typical data and look at how the spreadsheet formats it. You'll notice that the text information is left aligned and number information is right aligned. If you type in a date, the spreadsheet knows that it's a date. It is possible to change how this information is stored, which you can do by right-clicking on the cell and selecting Format Cells. Let's see if we can change the format of the date. When you format the cells, a small dialog box appears and you can choose the format you want. It will also show you a preview of the data before you select the OK button. Here's a classic problem that might occur when typing in number data to a spreadsheet. Let's type in a phone number and watch what happens. Did you see that the number zero has been lost off the front of the phone number? This is because the spreadsheet thinks that you've typed in a number and it has automatically removed the leading zero. You can correct this by formatting the cell to be text rather than number and it will retain the leading zero. You will now notice that because it thinks you have entered some text, it has aligned it left in the cell. The final skill we're going to look at is adding up numbers. Spreadsheets are really good at doing this and have some built-in functions that can help you. If we type in some simple numbers, we can add them up using the Auto Sum button in the ribbon at the top. The mathematicians will notice that the button has the Greek letter Sigma on it, which indicates that the numbers should be added. There are several ways to do this, so you should choose the technique that you find easiest. The first way is to select the cell below the column of numbers and then hit the Auto Sum button. The second technique is to highlight all of the numbers you want to add up and then hit the Auto Sum it will insert the total at the bottom. The third method is to type in a formula. 
You enter a formula in a spreadsheet by typing the equal sign. To add up the numbers, just include the sum function and enter the start and end cell references. These skills are some of the basic building blocks that you will need to use to build your electronic markbook. Practice these skills before the lesson and then we can build on them to create some more advanced features in your own custom made electronic markbook. You can watch this video several times until you get the hang of the skills, but if you still need further help, please write down a question on a post-it note and hand it in at the start of the lesson and I will give a spot demonstration to further explain the point.